Hey guys, this is Austin. So it is launch day for the new AMD R9 and R7 series of graphics cards. So be sure to hit up that thumbs up button if you appreciate me pulling an all-nighter to get you guys this video. And let's jump right on in. Today I've got three of the new cards. The R9 280X, R9 270X, and R7 260X. If you guys don't know what any of those names mean, go check out my earlier video where I break all the cards down. First of all, we have the 280X, which my review sample is a custom Sapphire card. It measures in at just under 11 inches, and it sports 3GB of GDDR5 memory. Like the rest of today's lineup, for ports we have a pair of DVI, an HDMI, along with a display port. Below the VaporX cooler, we have a pair of 8-pin power connectors. However, on reference cards, you'll see one 6-pin and one 8-pin here. Up top, we have two crossfire fingers for up to four-way crossfire, as well as a button to switch between the dual BIOSes on the card. Next, we have the R9 270X, which is a reference card. Unlike AMD's usual designs, I've got to say I really like the look of the card with its red and black color scheme and blower cooler that measures in at 9.5 inches, and this one is rocking 2 gigs of RAM. For power, you'll find two 6-pin PCIe connectors and a single Crossfire connector for two-way setups. Lastly, we have the R7 260X, which is also a reference card. It sports the same cool-looking red and black design, however it's a much smaller and more open cooler that measures 6 and 3 quarters inches, and it comes standard with 2 gigabytes of memory. With such a small PCB, it only needs a single 6-pin power connector, and it's good to go for two-way Crossfire. Unlike its more expensive brothers, the 260X has true audio, which can improve audio quality and take some load off your CPU, however we'll have to wait for games to support this for now. For this first wave, we're looking at tweaked versions of 7000 series cards. The R9 280X is essentially a 7970, with the same clock speed across the board, but at a new $300 price. The R9 270X is based on the 7870. However, it's gotten a 5% core clock boost and 14% faster memory, making it about 9% faster than the 7870 for $200. The R7 260X is based on the same GPU as the 7790, with a 10% increase on the core clock and 8% on the memory, making it, amazingly enough, about 9% faster with a price of $140. So who are these cards for? Well, the 260X is aimed at playing games on high at 1080p. It handles Metro Last Light at just over 45 FPS on high, Crisis 3 at 33 frames per second, and Battlefield 3 on Ultra at 36 FPS. The 270X is better equipped, allowing you to play most games on Ultra at 1080p. It pulls in just under 74 FPS in Bioshock Infinite, 56.4 frames per second with Metro Last Light on very high, and 33 FPS inside Crisis 3 on very high. If you want even more power, the 280X is great for maxing things out at 1080p, or even bumping up the resolution to something like 1440p. Here, we're looking at over 44 frames per second with Crisis 3 on very high quality, 75.4 FPS with Metro Last Light, and 96 frames on Ultra with Bioshock Infinite. Alright, so let's break this down. The 280X comes in at $300, and because of that it really doesn't have a whole lot of competition. The GTX 760 is a bit slower, but it's also $50 cheaper, so overall the 280X is a solid card for the money. The 270X comes in at $200, and here it runs into the GTX 660 at $180. It's clearly a great 1080p card, and faster than the 660, however it is $20 more, so it all weighs out. The R7 260X at $140 is just a little unfortunate. Just like the 7790 that it's based on, it's a good card for most gamers, However, yet again, NVIDIA has thrown a wrench in by dropping the much faster 650 Ti boost to only $10 more, making the 260X a hard sell. So what do you guys think about the new AMD cards? Of course, this isn't quite the entire lineup, we've got just a couple more cards to take a look at, however definitely be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. I also want to show you guys one more, slightly different kind of game. A little while ago, I showed you Endless Blitz, a game for iOS and Android made by my friends over at HH Greg. It's a fun, endless runner-style game where you avoid the other players while collecting coins and power-ups, and the best part is that you're playing for actual prizes. They're giving away a 60-inch Sharp TV every day this month, along with the grand prize of a 70-inch 4K Sharp TV. To go along with the contest, there's the Sharp NATO power-up, which is super OP and lets you run down the field in a tornado filled with Sharp TVs. 
Because, well, there's really no because, it's just cool. Anyway, definitely be sure to go check out Endless Blitz at the link in the description of this video. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I got my review samples a little bit late from AMD, so I had to really hustle to get you guys this video. So hopefully you enjoyed. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.